few changes to a cat's behaviour are as worrying as breathing difficulties. Animal Wise explains the main reasons for trouble breathing in cats so you know when to take action. Asthma. It's one of the most common respiratory diseases in cats. It's a disease characterised by inflammation of the lower respiratory tract, possibly from an allergic cause. It can be triggered by exposure to allergens such as air pollution, cigarette, cigar and incense smoke, household dust, insecticide, perfume, herbs and plant pollens, among others. Symptoms of asthma in cats include coughing, frequent open mouth breathing and dyspnea. In this case, it's common to observe the cat breathes very quickly. Stuffy nose. Certain pathological viral agents such as feline herpes virus and feline calcivirus are responsible for upper respiratory tract infections in cats. Symptoms vary according to the severity of the infection, but include sneezing, runny nose, coughing, conjunctivitis, eye discharge, corneal ulcers and oral lesions. Nasal secretions can collect and dry out, making breathing more difficult. Bacterial agents may also be involved, worsening the condition, sometimes to the point of pneumonia. A cat may also have a blocked nose thanks to the presence of some foreign body, which can obstruct the airways and prevent them from breathing like they normally do. The video we share on the card above goes into more detail about what happens when a cat pants and breathes fast. Pneumonia this can be attributed to infectious or, less frequently, non-infectious causes. Infectious pathogens associated with pneumonia include bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites. Non-infectious issues include aspiration pneumonia, inhalation of toxic or irritant substances and endogenous lipid disorders. Lower respiratory tract infections usually affect younger cats. In adults, it is considered a rare disease and is usually related to certain predisposing factors associated with immunosuppression. These include viral co-infections with endocrine or metabolic diseases or immunosuppressive therapy such as chemotherapy or corticosteroid use. Pleural effusion. This is a pathological change characterised by the accumulation of fluid within the chest cavity. It is usually discovered when the cat is in a veterinary clinic and can become a need for emergency care due to dyspnea. Cats with pleural effusion are at high risk so they need to be taken to the vet immediately in as stable a condition as possible. If you find our videos useful, remember that you can help us to grow the channel with a super thanks. Congestive heart failure. This is a syndrome that results in the heart being no longer able to carry out its ability to properly maintain bodily functions. A cat with heart failure may present fatigue, dyspnea, weight loss, abdominal swelling, weakness, cyanosis, syncope, as well as other clinical signs. If you live with a cat, it's vital you pay attention to signs such as rapid or heavy breathing as they could be signs of a serious and urgent problem. If you notice significant changes to your cat's breathing, such as regular open mouth breathing, the best thing to do is take them to a vet. These can be symptoms of a serious illness which can be fatal if left untreated. Don't rely on home remedies or treat with human medications as these can make the situation worse. If you want to continue learning more about cat health and veterinary advice, don't miss the playlist we share here. Leave a comment to tell us if you've experienced breathing difficulties in your cat and how it was treated. We'll see you next time.